pay the new low price. Everybody pays $114.99. And it's on split pay, look, for 57.49. Morning, John, at next week's Wood Carving Club, I'm gonna be teaching two people to make a patchwork out of wood. Did you see, Ali, I mentioned you earlier, when we were doing Glow Force, he, he wants a woodworker to use his lamps to see how they work with wood, so I should, we'll have to get you to do them. Richard is my lovely hairdresser. He'd give you a good trim. I've got enough to have a trim, thank you. Right, we're still putting these together. We are, it's going together very nicely good. there. This oh, is, yeah, it's ni time. nice fabric. It sews beautifully, doesn't it? This Tudor pink fabric. Have they got the telly on in the hairdressers then? And you got to sit under your, what are those things called where you sit in a row and you put it over I don't your think head? people do that anymore. Don't they have those I think anymore? that's from the like 1970s, don't you? <laughs> where you sit under there because you've had your perm. Oh, is it? Got your curlers in. I think, <laughs> love, I love that image though. Like, a row of ladies all sitting there with their magazines yeah. or with the, I don't know what they, it's like a hairdryery thing, isn't it? That goes over yes. your head. Yeah. I remember when I used to have streaks, they used to put a different kind of light around your head, like with like a like an alien with like red light bulbs on it all around your head. <laughs> oh, I don't know. What colour streaks did you have? Kind of what? What colour streaks? Blonde, bright blonde streaks to start with. <laughs> and then when I went away to college, I had this bit all bleached around the side here in a solid and I had it dyed blue oh, yeah. all down the side there. And then when the blue went, because it was any crazy colour, I had it orange and red and different colours like that but then I went on a teaching went to look at the school I was going to do my teaching practice at and the headmaster just stood there and went we don't like trendies at our school <laughs> so I had to go home that night and Barry my flatmate who wasn't a hairdresser who was a dancer right had to cut my hair <laughs> so I went to my first day of my teaching practice with a I did it very well I have to say but with no blue in it it was all I had to cut all the blue out but I also had the Philoki haircut. You might not remember what that is. I don't know what that Philoki is. Philoki from Don't You Want Me Baby. Who's that? Human League, right? So on oh. this side, it was short back and sides. Right. And on this side, oh. it was that. Oh, you were trendy then. Oh, yeah, yeah. But I, you had to walk, I used to walk like this. <laughs> because it was really weird having no hair on one side and long hair on the other side like that. <laughs> oh, yes. I've been done them all, me. Done them all. <laughs> that was when I did my head and shoulders advert. <laughs> <laughs> laughing down that end of the table. So 114.99, split pay 57.49 twice. Beautiful Tula pink fabric. This is where you need your iron next to your sewing machine, isn't it? You really? Do. To, um... You do. Because then you can, you know, you can iron it, make sure it's matched up nicely before you carry on to yeah, the next exactly. one. Oh, and also, well, you'll know this as a dressmaker. You, when dressmaking, you press after every oh, you do. single seam, don't you? And it just keeps it looking. There's nothing worse than when you're sewing something, it looks a bit like a dish rag, do you know what I mean? And it's like... Yeah. Well, your iron is your friend when you yeah. sew, it really is. After your quick unpick, that is. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yes, it always makes your sewing look 100% better, doesn't yeah. it, when you've, when you've pressed it? And I think what you have to... Um, what people often don't understand is pressing your sewing is totally different to ironing your clothes. Oh yes, no, totally. Oh no, I hate ironing clothes. No, I don't do much ironing clothes. No. But no, when you're pressing something like this, it's so satisfying when you've sewn a seam, you press it, and you see how sharp your points are and things like that. And it's, it's, it's good, like we say, sewing's good for mindfulness and things like that, but just things like that to see, oh, I've just done that, you know what I mean? Yes. I still do it to this day. Yes. You press something, you oh, go, oh, 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 I've just done that, that looks like, yeah. or, you turn, or you turn your quilt over, your, your front over, and you think, oh, I haven't got any of those seams, because we all do it, don't yeah. we? The, the seam allowance goes underneath, they turn it over, you think, oh, I did that. Okay, so there's your first block, which is very nice. Good size. Yeah. See? Yeah. Good size. So you make eight of those. Lovely. Eight. Uh, you do. No, okay. You do. So. One, I can see four. Five, yeah, five. one, two. There's some, look, there's some turned in that central row. There are some turned that way. Oh, yes. So yes, some yes, are placed yes, yes. horizontally and some yeah, are placed got it. vertically. Got it. To make the sort of diamond pattern. Yeah. Uh, Jean, this is what we're making. Jean. Becky. Sorry. This is what we're making. It's beautiful. Tula, Tula pink. It's called a Dreamy Owl. And Ben's just taking £15 off, Jean. For no reason. 
because it's Christmas. Julie Vaughan. Good morning, Catherine. I've had every hairstyle to... Uh, well, don't we know it, Julie Vaughan? I've had every hairstyle to over the years. My mum used to highlight my hair through a carrier bag with a crochet hook. I just put croquet. I don't think you mean croquet. Do you? That'd be a little <laughs> bit different, difficult. Um, yeah, oh, no, my mum... Oh, no, I, I went to a hairdresser to have mine done, but they used to pull it through. In those days, they used to pull a really, really did, tight like thing over the top of your head and then poke hairs out of it like that none of the foils or anything posh like that right what are you doing next then? what we're doing next um so i'm going to there's a there's a smaller block using the strips as well but i'm going to skip that okay um i might come back to it depending right, really. how we get on yeah 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 but there's um a nice block here this is this is the corner one right so you make four, four of, of these, these i'm guessing so we've got some little squares and we've got some triangles right so we'll, we'll do that one Next. Oh, so there's not there's no half square triangles in this. It's actual no. you actually sewing triangles. Yes. So I have cut those yeah. and I have best pressed them. Good. Just to stop them overly stretching. Lovely. I'm not sure if we've got any best press in at the moment. We can always check out the website. So again, you've got a little a little plan. See, look, you see, I have got a little label on that one, G yeah. squares. Okay, lovely. So yeah, I, 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 no, I'd have to label everything yeah. up because you, they're the same style of fabric. I don't want to make sure I've got the right one in the right order. Yeah. Exactly. Right, which one? Especially yeah, as one. it's not like a random quilt, is it? If you if one of these is in the wrong order, yes, you're going to notice it in you the are. whole because it's like almost like a medallion, isn't it? You're going round that centre, and if one of the purples is the wrong way round, it's going to be very obvious, isn't it? The thing you want to watch with this fabric, and I've noticed on this one that I've put together. Oh yeah, that's yeah. A can mistake. you see that? No, there's not a mistake. It's, if you you can, there is a way round with your hexagons. Can you see? They've, I've got those sideways and I've got those vertically. So In look. theory, there should be. Oh, yes. So oh, yes, yes, because the point's there and the point's there. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And I mean, that doesn't especially bother me and it no. wouldn't especially bother me in a whole quilt, but some people might. Yes. So have you got all of these <laughs> so ones? So these going ones I've got all the same way. It's not funny because you, you'd think all oh, the hexes, they'll all be the same. It you just think doesn't it's, matter. Yeah, but it ha they have. Although these, you see, these little triangles have got to. Because you've cut them in the triangle, they are not all going to go the same oh, so way. It doesn't matter, does it? Well, you just go with the flow, I think. Yeah. So you're making a big triangle. So you're making a big triangle out of squares and triangles. Brilliant. And then one of these lovely turquoise ones. Oh, I love that I fabric, really that like geometric fabric. Yeah. yeah, that one then gets put on here. Yeah, it doesn't so, fit. Not at the moment, no. <laughs> but it, it will, will, because look, <laughs> I did want it to will. make sure it, it was going to. <laughs> So which is your best way to put this together then? So we're going to put these together in rows. Right. And then we'll put our rows That's together. Brilliant. So when you're attaching a triangle to a square, let's just move those down a second. Jenny Jackson says, good morning all. Morning, Jenny Jackson. And Jean says, the quilt looks amazing, doesn't it, Jean? It's beautiful. You want to make sure that it's the right angle of the triangle that you line up. Yeah. And that the point is actually going to stick up above your square. And that is correct because then when you sew your quarter inch seam and you open it up, it will fit together perfectly. Perfect. If you try and line it up like this, oh, no. it wouldn't be in line. No. So it's your right angle that you line up. Brilliant. Okay. I used to have my hair blonde. Did you? For many, 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 many years. Uh huh. But this is my natural colour now. Oh, is it? Well, you say natural. No, it is. Oh, I don't, don't colour my hair at all anymore. Oh, mm. blimey. you got no grey at all. A tiny bit, but not very nice. But my mum, though, my mum is, I will not reveal her age, but yeah, yeah. she has hardly any grey. Well, we must, she must be of a, an age, because you're like 25, aren't you? Because she's got <laughs> yeah. to be at least 50. <laughs> But yeah, so, and my nana hardly went grey at all. Oh, so it's a family gene then? It seems to be. Husband, has he got grey hair? Yeah, but he was very blonde, so it's not doesn't way look grey. Yeah, doesn't yeah. look very grey, no. It's really funny because I put a picture up on Facebook of me at my goddaughter's christening six years ago, and all these people mentioned going, blimey, look at the colour of your hair. And I said, it wasn't dyed, that was the colour of my hair. Just, and then you suddenly realise how grey you've gone over the last six years. I don't mind, it doesn't bother me in the slightest, but it was very kind of reddy brown back then. I wasn't dyeing it back then or anything. So, uh, 
It's funny how life changes you, isn't it? Are you sure it's grey? Because you're blonde blonde, aren't you? Oh, Ben found a grey hair the other day. I bet he's blonde blonde. Yes, he is quite, he's blonde. I did um, have one little spate where I had my hair I had my hair cut into a really, really, really short pixie crop, which oh, I love. Yeah. And I had it dyed peroxide blonde. Oh, love that. We all, everyone has I, to go I through that phase. It. Yeah, everyone has. My I, family hated yes. it. Yes. <laughs> oh, it, it was when you had kids and everything then? Yeah, they were quite little. It was yeah. the best haircut for having small children because you just didn't have to, have to do yeah. anything. Yeah, they didn't like it at all. I, and my husband didn't like it no, at all. I think everybody goes through a phase like that, don't they? When they yeah. think, oh, I'm going to go pixie and I'm going to go peroxide. We've all done it. I did it in Africa. I'd highly recommend yeah. it. But I used to go away. When I was in the film industry, I'd be away for like seven or eight months at a time. So you could do things like that. And it was before social media and things. So you could do things like that and realise it looked so awful. But only the people on the film got to see you. You know what I mean? <laughs> Nobody at home got to see it. Laurie says, morning, John and Catherine and team. I've overslept this morning. Oh, Laurie, it's half past nine. Oh, I couldn't sleep at all last night. Jenny Jackson says her hair's natural. Yeah, pink. Pink hair, yeah. <laughs> Steph, Steph says, morning, Jen. Morning, Jenny. Oh, she's saying hello to Jenny. She's saying hello to Jenny, not to us. John, think of your hair as a... I think... John, think of your hair as a silver fox. It sounds better than grey. And Judy says, when does the phase end? Yeah, Judy's still doing... She's got, like, a parakeet hair at the moment. And she's all sticky out at the side like that. Nice. I'm not, I'm not saying it's not nice. It's funny, isn't it? And then you've got other, other people who've never, ever, ever changed their hairstyle. They've always had the same hairstyle. And yeah. I think part, that was part of growing up, was having all the diff different style growing up, even in my 40s. But anyway. Right, so you're saying <laughs> okay, rows so, together. So, so, yeah, so we're going to sew them together into rows now. Again, just piecing these, uh, matching the seams. And you get, again, going to have an overlap here with the points. Yeah. But that is correct. Because then you should have a nice quarter inch along this edge which will allow you to join the big triangle to it yeah So how many of these? Oh, we only make four of these, don't we? So we make four of these, and we've made eight of the other one. We'll make eight of the other ones. So and we just need to make quite a uh, lot small of small blocks. We make sixteen of. I was going to say there must be one that make a lot of. And are they just two and a half inch square? They're just block two blocks, and a half yeah. inch ones as well. Brilliant. So when I've done this, what I'll, I'll make a couple. I'll quickly do a little one, and then I can put a row together to show you how Brilliant. it goes. With have you cut any squares. of these squares out? I have. Oh, brilliant. That's not, that'd make a lovely dress, that one, wouldn't it? It would. No, obviously you've not got enough in the bundle to make a dress, but imagine that as a dress. Oh, that is lovely, look. Or a little top, hang on, have you got enough there to make a little, oh, you can make a little vest top, I suppose, couldn't you, out of that if you want to? You couldn't make a wrap skirt, there's not enough there to make no, a wrap wraps, skirt. wrap skirts take more than you think. Yeah, they take eight fat quarters, don't they? I seem to <laughs> yes, remember. <they> do. <laughs> but for a, look for a small person. Yeah. Catherine's got a pattern. You might know that she'd make, she's got this like um, panel you can make for grown ups or for children, and you cut them all out of a fat, qu out of fat quarters, don't you? So it's eight for a child, is it? And 16 for an adult, or something like that. I can't remember now. 12, 12 for oh, an 12, adult. 12, 12 for an adult. Yeah. What machine are you? Oh, shit, you're using the brother machine. Oh, get you. I have brothers in my craft centre. Oh, do you? And you, you know what it's like when you're used to something. Oh, no, totally. It's, uh, totally, it's, yeah. yeah. So, have we got the, the sewing machine on today's show? Ben said I was allowed to use it. Oh. And I got permission. I did, no, no, I'm not, I'm not questioning <laughs> you. I was just thinking we could put it through graphics here. But if we're not going on today's show, then it's fine. I think they, I think I watched the other day. Didn't Stuart have it on the other day? So you wouldn't have been in. I think Stuart had it. Oh no, you will have been. Was it yesterday? The owl and the pussycat lady was in. Yeah, I was only yesterday. Oh. Are you Christmas ready? I've got my. Oh. I saw your tree was up. I put a white tree. I don't normally have trees indoors, but I decided to, I went out and bought. Oh, it's rubbish. I was going to say complain. it's not a fresh one, is it? No, it's white. <laughs> it's a white one. It may remind me because my mum always had silver Christmas trees when we were little. I okay. thought, oh, it'd be nice. I get a white one. Got it home. And I thought, well, we shouldn't bought that. And then I got it out of the box. <laughs> oh, there's only six of the machines left. 
There's only, if you're thinking of buying these for Christmas now, these, these come from us, don't they? These come directly from us. £399, £133. Did they do a demo on them yesterday? Oh. Stuart had a deal yesterday, apparently. Oh. So we can't do it today. All right, then. Yeah, we'll do it. This is Stuart's deal. This is Stuart's deal from yesterday. We'll get told off for doing this now. There's only six left. <gasps> what? Oh, good prize. That's good, isn't it? Now, if you're thinking about mine. Oh, your microphone's going again. £359. £119.66 is your split pay. Oh, my word. Um, right, I'll, uh, you ca just carry on saying, I'll find you another mo right, microphone. Uh, th that's good, that was a Stuart deal from yesterday. Well, take advantage, there's only six left. There it is, lovely little machine. So you have these at your, you have brother machines at I have your- I brother machines at my craft centre. And what, what's your, what's your go-to machine? Is it a brother? It is, yes. Oh, okay. Yes, well, when I was setting the craft centre up, I did try lots of different yeah, ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they were just the ones that I really liked. Yeah. Um, and then eventually I, um, the little man who was the agent in our area retired, so I started to be an agent for them. Oh, as you're well. an agent for them as well? I, am. Oh, I didn't know that. Yes. Oh, now you're living and day. Right, I'm just going to take you through the bundle while Catherine has her microphone changed. So uh, I'll need to put the graphics back in for the quilt, please. And you get all this is lovely. I was just saying how beautiful this fabric is. This is true. This is new. Now it says it's from the Moon Garden range, but this is, uh, is this Moon Garden? Yeah, I get his moon garden in a finch. This one's called. That's beautiful, isn't it? So you get that one. I love this geometric one. I don't know what this one's called. Baby Geo. This one's called. So this is these two are from the new. Or no, and the owl ones are all from the new ranges. So they're gorgeous, aren't they? Then you've got this is your owl for your centre square. I don't know if this will have a self edge on it for me to tell you what it is. No, it's been cut the other way. But there you go. So that's your centre square. Now, is it though? Is it though? Yeah, that's your centre. Then you've got these as your other squares here. This one was hissy fit, I think. Oh, no, this one's dragging your feet. So you've got big dragonflies in it. Lo love the archways that one creates. And then we've got this one here, which was called hissy fit. Beautiful. Now those, all you're going to do with those last three is just cut squ big squares out of those. So 114.99. It should be 15 pounds more, but everyone pay 114.99 for those of you who checked out before Ben uh, crashed the price. Right. So we have got. Oh, you're still doing the triangle, though. Yes, I've been. <laughs> yeah, been mauled, manhandled <laughs> this morning, or Becky handled, I should say. Oh, there you go. Jean says, great price for that machine. We've got Brothers Star Sewing Classes too. Very easy to thread and to use. Uh, Stuart won't be happy with me. Julie, it was Ben's decision, not mine. They do have lovely, they do have really good needle threaders on them. Oh, do they? Mm. It's saving me having to get uh, glasses for sure. Oh, no. With it, it's really, really weird because I am... Um, I, d I can thread a sewing machine needle without my glasses on. Can't see the sewing machine, but I can take, I think it's like muscle memory, you know, it's just yeah. kind of, it's weird, isn't it? Uh, they thought they were going to sell out yesterday to have that six left, or not this, but the machine, to have that six left. And uh, Maureen, oh John, a full curly perm in my Motown days, blue spray for the wizard days, pixie cut for punk rock, flicked up page boy for Diana, love changing my hairstyle. Steph says her hair's so thick, I can't have anything special. I have enough for five people and it's curly. You must be like Hannah then, Hannah's like that. You need to go to curly girl. You need to get curly girl treatment and it'll, t oh, you won't know. Cousin Susan says, good morning, John and Catherine. Lots of you there. Right. My daughter's. Uh, my oh, hang on, what are you daughter's. doing now? What are you doing now? What, are you what doing I'm now? doing now is I, I'm just. Go, I've got two of these lovely biggish birds. So this is the first row of your quilt. Right. So I'm just going to put the two big ones Brilliant. on either side, so you can see how they're going to Excellent. look. Excellent. What are you saying about your daughter? She, uh, my daughter Anna. She's got mega, mega thick hair. She has got so much hair, and it's fairly straight. And when they go and when she goes to the, <laughs> the hairdresser, she literally, you know, those like thinning out scissors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She will take. Tons of it out, and it's still, still thick. really thick. Oh, how lovely! Like like that. Really thick hair. Okay. 
So this this is a quilt that's going to grow nice and quickly. Yeah. Once you've done your sort of little slightly fiddly bits there, so you're going to put these big blocks on, and it's going to grow very nice and quickly. While Catherine's stitching that, I'll just remind you about the um, the uh, stripology ruler that she used. Stripology XL, here it is. 69.99. Brilliant for cutting strips, for cutting squares, for cutting triangles, for get, cutting rectangles, for squaring off blocks. 69.99. Uh, if you want to go to the uh, Creative Grids website, you can look, just look it up and they'll show you all the different uh, techniques that you can use on it. It's one of those things where you go, oh, I don't need one of those, I'm not spending 70 pounds on that. And then when you get it, you realize how time saving it is and how brilliant it is. Oh, we also had the gold rotary cutter. Beautiful. Now, I don't think there can be many of these left. 12.99. So we sold out of these last week, but they obviously saved some for today's show. Hemline Gold Rotary Cutter, 45 millimeter. You can do what? That presses Bruce the most. Not that it cuts, but it stands up. 12.99. We were discussing this morning what skills we have, transferable skills. If we went and did another job, what could we do? Bruce has decided he can only be a Chippendale. That's all he can do, because he gets dressed and undressed every day. And he likes to dance. Yeah, there you go. Right, <laughs> carry on then, Catherine. So then our small little block, block so you see you've got a nice big central one, yeah. two big um, plain Just ones. Just solid ones, yeah. Solids, yeah. yeah. And then we have these like slightly smaller blocks before you get your corner But again, block. you've got to make sure that you've put them in the right order, don't you? You have to make sure they're in the right order. But again, it's a really nice clear diagram. Mm. And this is the sort of quilt that really, you probably want to sit and do lots of the same all at once. Yes. And then you'll realize they're coming all out, out the same and yeah. you won't get confused. But also, oh now, I was just about to say, also the pattern. I've done that wrong. Have I done that wrong? No, I haven't. No, 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 because it goes from there to there. But then what's yes. that? Because you're coming no, down again wrong. now. I found the wrong, oh, is see? It? I found the wrong strip. Oh, don't worry. I wasn't trying to. I wasn't trying to catch you out then. I was just saying that while you're sewing it, I think I've lost the correct one. <laughs> okay, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But you'll be able to look at the pattern. Yes, you can realise if you've got it wrong because that yes. should have had the GA's one. Yes. There. Yeah. Yeah. But I've got that much on the desk. I can't find it. I'm just looking. No, it's right. Oh, that's it. So I should have one with that at the top. Oh yes, 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 yeah. yes, yes, yeah, yeah. Is that? There, is there that? it is. There it is. Oh, it is that. This is that one. It, what, did you know that I one? just turned it turned around. around. Yeah, that's it. So you, yeah. but you like because you're doing these blocks, you're going to be able to see when you'd come to sew that together. You'd have gone, that's oh no, this right. isn't right because yeah. that one should be yeah. there. So it's, they're really easy to follow, aren't they? They are actually. Yes. Yeah. And you will be more organised than this. You yeah. won't have it all over on a very small table. And have me wittering at you, and you standing <laughs> on a funny block and everything. <laughs> So um, I can put that one together if you like, or we can do we can do cutting just the central one. Cutting yeah, actually cutting the central because we can always come back to that yeah, one. Yeah, So so basically, what you do is you're making lots of blocks. So the top row is the one with the with the triangle on the edge, one of the little yeah. ones, so a solid colour, one of there. your big ones. Oh yeah, there it is there. Yeah. So I've put together that that here. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll those those now. ones there with the bird yeah. on are D. Is that that first part of row yeah. one? So then I'd put my little ones that I've just shown you yeah. there, and, and then, then I put my nice corner two ones corners on it. that I've made on the Brilliant. end. Brilliant. So it's a good size as well. No. A nice size. Well, it's what is it? It's one hundred and sixty-two by one hundred sixty-two. It's a square. It's a square quilt. I like square quilts. Mm. Okay, so from this piece, you only cut one square. Right. Of 16 Well, they've given you a lot, just for one. How big's the square? Well, this is, it's like a fat quarter, isn't it? 22 by 22. And how big a square do you have to cut out of 16 it? 16 and a half inch. Oh, okay. So. 
Oh, but then I, I suppose it's giving you that much because you're going to want to fussy well, cut it, Well, ideally, aren't you? you're going to want to centre the owl, aren't yeah. you? I think. Would you like to pass me the scripology reader? Oh, yes, yeah, sorry. And then I can do it with that. Where's it gone? It's here. I'll just give that a press. Who's that making all that noise? Yeah, of course I know it's Hayley. So when they send me these boxes, I was like, open them up. There's all the joy of opening them up, isn't there? Yeah. And then I, and then I like always iron all the pieces. And then, so that's the joy of like, just looking at all the oh, nice yeah, fabric definitely. and going, oh, it's yeah. so nice. So we've got our 16 and a half inch there. So six, half of 16 and a half is what, eight and a quarter. quarter. So you want to make sure the middle of your owl is at that point. Yeah. So that you're going to get it nice and central. <laughs> she says. Yeah, no, it's all right. My, my cutting mat and fabric are slightly too big, but I don't want to. If I fold it in oh, half, there's I a risk. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. If I fold it in half, there is a risk that I won't get it central. Dead it's central, easier yeah. to do it flat. Yeah. Would you like the bigger cutting mat? I think we'll we'll manage. You'll be all right. You'll be all right. We'll all right. Right, sixteen and a half. Let's actually do it the right amount. Yes. It's not going quite all the way up, but okay. it will be okay. They folded this fabric very unusually. Do you want me to take it off? Here? So I'm going to use it again in a minute. Then if you swivel round, I can do it the other way as well. And get that owl nice and central. Lovely. Oh, Anne says, morning, gorgeous quilt and a great patch off any feature fabrics. Well, yeah, exactly, because once you've got the pattern, you can do it with all sorts. She says, she, she's saying it would look lovely with a cave. Now, wasn't it Cave's birthday this week? He was 85, wasn't he? There you are. He was 85. 85. No. So that, Hayley, you're not near enough to a microphone. Oh, wait, wait. So, okay, so he's got his new range of fabric, which is out, and we've got it on what date? Next Thursday. Am I next Thursday? Am I? Oh, Becky's just... <laughs> I can hear her shouting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm launching his new fabric, 85, and fabulous. He's 85 and I'm fabulous. Oh, I might, I might have to watch. Yeah, That's next th saying. Thursday, did you say? Next Thursday. Just slightly wider so I can Oh yeah. That, so. so you've got a little bit left to do other things with. It's a bigger square than I thought it was going to be. Yes. Because I thought it was going to be the same size as those squares No, well there. they're eight and a half inch square, yeah. so it's almost double. So this is it? the centre square, so which is, is much bigger. So this is your centre one, which is much bigger. Yeah. 